Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Stack channel. So today we'll try to explore one more new topic and this is related to the PDF files. So as of now I have the one PDF file with the name as library project documentation. So in this PDF file I, uh, we can see this 33 pages are there. So now the concept is I want to convert this 33 pages to 33 PDF files. So if you say this one page, so this entire page needs to be converted as a one PDF file. So now how we can try with this UI path. So going back to the UI path studio. So first of all, we need the packages which we call PDF packages. So this is a UI path PDF dot activities. So you can install this uh, activities and try this. So first we need to read that uh, data and get that page of files. I mean page numbers. So for that, just type here PDF. After that, we can see a couple of things. So, so app integration and we can get this pdf page count okay this is something and i'm creating one variable so as of now i have multiple variables i will remove this so first i will make it as file path so in this file path i will pass this uh, value okay and i will directly pass this file path okay after this when you go to these properties so in this properties we can see this output so here output we can see the one data page count so in this page count we can store this how many page numbers are available in this particular pdf so just click on three dots and we can create one variable so i make it as pdf page count that is you can make it as pdf page numbers so whatever it may be as per your requirement you can <coughs> use that uh, variable so now this is fine for me so now I will put one message box. So for just checking purpose, so we got this uh, page files has a 33 or not. Okay. Let me run this in debug mode. So uh, PDF file read and the page count has been available in this thing and next we can see this the message boxes 33 pages so in that pdf file we have 33 pages so output has been 33 pages so now we want to split each into the one pdf file so what we want to do so we need to take loop so i'm using while do while loop and removing this message box okay after this I again i want to type here pdf so here we can see this one more activity extract pdf page range so just drag and drop this activity after this we can see the file name uh, text must be coded so here pass is file path okay after this file path so output file so where you want to store this output file so i want to store this output file as let me close this so i want to store this output file as printed files so i am taking this path and let me update it so this is my file path and after that i want to name as page one page two like this so let me take page hyphen so if i want to one then i will uh, already loop as in uh, so loop will initiate it so let me declare one more loop here inside this not the loop uh, as an activity or else you can take here as an activity so i'm declaring one more uh, uh, variable which we called counter okay and here i will make it as one by default key. so because if you give the zero so there is no files file uh, sorry there is no page numbers with the zero so that's why we make it as one okay this is done so now where i want to get the file page so after this file page and we can give this variable so temp counter dot to string less dot pdf okay so whatever the page it's come now it's make it as page one dot pdf next page two dot pdf like that it will appear and still you can see this one error is appearing so what range you will need to read so i want the range as temp counter dot to string this is my pdf range and downside we need to give this condition so what is my condition if both are matching are greater than that then exit out of that loop so here i need to give 
PDF page count greater than or equals to temp count. So let me go and check temp counter. So enter the new sequence. New sequence. Okay. PDF page count is there, but one more variable uh, which we can able to see. This one temp counter. So let me change this to new sequence scope. So now this is also done. Just I will update here temp counter. So now this is done. After this, inside the loop, I mean inside the for loop, so uh, do loop. So we need to increment that counter. If you not increment that, it's still repeating, repeating, repeating. So taking one as an activity and declaring the temp counter is equals to temp counter plus one. Okay, now development has been completed. We'll see how it will work. So I'm running end to end at once. Before running that, so I can show this uh, output folder which is as empty files. So running this one, later we can see this 33 PDF files in the particular folder. Let me run this. So I'm click on this continue. So it will run end to end at once. So we have to wait for a couple of seconds uh, until it's closed. So now we can see this pages has been generated. So backside PDF files. So now this execution has been completed and moving back to the folder. So this is my output folder. For example, if I open the page number seven and similarly, I will open this PDF original document and I will moving, I need to move to page number seven. So let it open. So I'm moving here page number seven. I will move manually. So if you see here page number seven, so 1.3 some data is there. So let me go back to the another PDF file now. So 1.3 integrated audience, and here also we can see this 1.3 integrated audience. So this is the way how we can convert it multiple pages into, I mean, one single document pages into the multiple PDFs.